on the lapel and behind the elbow. What I try to do whenever I'm doing Ochigari is I like to stagger myself. I don't like to be square with my opponent because I don't want to, I don't want to have to take that extra step. All right, so typically whenever I'm planning on doing Ochigari, I step like this. I get a staggered step. That way when I pull him into me, I don't have to take an extra step. So I pull him in, and then I sidestep in and hook the leg. Just like that. Now, put your foot back on the ground. Now I start pushing him away from me to make that leg light. Once that leg is light, I pull it back to me, and then come down, step around this leg, okay? So again, I start off with a staggered stance. Like I'm facing this way and he's facing this way. That way whenever I pull him in, I'm already, I'm already uh, ready to go. I sidestep in, hook the leg, push him away, pull, and step around. Yes. Are you trying to get one leg forward or just trying to make him some distance? So it doesn't matter if they're square, like if he comes forward and he's still square, Still in. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he's staggered or he's he's square with me because I, what I'm going to attack is this leg. I'm not going to attack that leg. So I don't care if he steps both feet forward most of the time whenever you're fighting you're in competition. They're not going to do that. They're probably going to be staggered stands. Unless they're about to jump guard, then they're going to be square. So be ready for that. <sighs> So here, stagger a little bit. Go ahead and uh, stagger back the other way. So let, let's just look at this scenario, right? The leg that I want to attack is back. So same thing. I'm going to pull him into me and get him to step. Side step in, hook the leg. Push him away and pull this through and come down. Okay? And it doesn't matter if he's square or not square, it doesn't matter. I just remember where we pull, we're usually the intention of pulling him is to get, get him to step forward. Right. I wasn't sure if it was, uh, for this one, if it was just a step forward or just a cover distance or just get him off balance. If he's square and he wants to, to, to step square, like with both his feet, I, I don't care. And it's a, it, it is a matter of cover and distance as well. Because typically, Typically, whenever we want somebody to step, we have to step our mirror leg back. So if I want him to step his left leg, I have to step back with my right leg. Like this. And if I want him to step his right leg, I step back with my left leg. Right? Same with him. If he pulls this side, I'm stepping. If he pulls that side, I'm stepping. Okay? So if you want to set up the legs like that, you can set up the legs. So with this particular one, I'm getting him to step, but I'm not stepping this leg back. Because I, I'm going to have to take an extra step if I do that to attack him. So, I'm pulling him in, and then I'm winding up. Hook, push, pull. Alright? Because most likely, whenever I go to attack his leg, all his weight is going to be there. All his weight is going to be on that leg, and I'm not going to be able to pull it out because he's standing on it. So I have to push him away. Now it becomes light. All right. Any other questions? 